In this project, I'll show you how you can control your Arduino Nano BLE and read sensor values and actuate controls, communicating with it via Bluetooth using Python, such as from a Windows, Mac, or Linux machine like the Raspberry Pi. This will open up a lot of possibilities. I'll demonstrate using the onboard RGB LED of the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense, but it is chock full of sensors, so you can utilize the same framework and add other sensors and actuators to the mix. To house the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense, I use the Prototex enclosure for breadboards and custom boards. This is a stackable, modular, and extensible enclosure system and can be combined with other compatible enclosures, such as having a Raspberry Pi, for instance. By itself, it houses the Arduino Nano in a half-sized breadboard perfectly, giving ample room to build circuitry you have in mind, adding additional sensors or actuators. Protostax's extension kits also allow you to add items like push-button switches, ultrasonic sensors, and other peripherals to your enclosure easily. The enclosure can be used without the sidewalls and top when you're prototyping to give you full access to the board and circuitry. Add the sidewalls and top when you're done to have a usable prototype that you can display and utilize. All right, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you would need to do would be to enable support for the Arduino Nano in your Arduino IDE. Uh, you can do that by going to Tools, Board, Boards Manager. Arduino has a good document called Getting Started with the Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense uh, that shows you how to uh, set up and prepare your Arduino Nano to, uh, to use with your IDE and your computer. I've included a link to it below and you can go ahead and follow those instructions. Let's go ahead and open up uh, the sketch. It's called Protostax Arduino Nano BLE RGB Peripheral and you can find uh, the source code for this pro, uh, sketch as well as uh, additional details uh, about of the code and how it works in the project link. I've included uh, a link to it in the description below and it has uh, links to the uh, complete source code as well. All right, so here is a sketch and uh, there are a couple of things to note. Uh, first thing is we would want to go ahead and make sure that we're using the right board. So you go to Tools, Board, and you'll see that there is a new uh, entry called Arduino Embed OS Nano Boards. And you can go ahead and select the Arduino Nano 3.3 BLE. And then you'd go back and choose from tools the port and make sure that you're connected to the port that the Arduino Nano 33 BLE is connected to. Now we are ready to go ahead and uh, compile and upload this sketch. Uh, but there are a couple of things to note first. You'll see that it includes a header file called Arduino BLE.h. We'd want to ensure that the Arduino uh, BLE library is available. You can do that by going to Tools, Manage Libraries. And search for the library called Arduino BLE. And in my case, you can see that it has already been installed. If it's not installed on your IDE, you can go ahead and hit the Install button. One other thing that I wanted to point out um, is that this line here, if debug, why not serial? What this does is it basically pauses the execution of your setup loop here until a serial connection has been established, basically until you uh, open up the serial monitor. Uh, this is useful to see the execution as it happens in the sketch uh, through the printf statements that have been added to it. So it's useful uh, to, uh, to debug and observe, but when you are uh, running it without debugging, you uh, don't necessarily want to pause the execution and have to attach a serial monitor to it. 
So in that case, you can simply go ahead and change the undefined debug to false. Since I want to uh, demonstrate the execution of this sketch, I'm going to leave this as true. And that is the default value in the source code. Next up, I'm going to hit the upload button to compile and upload this sketch to my Arduino Nano. And once it's done uploading, I can go ahead and open up my serial monitor. And once the uh, connection has been established, you'll see that it will go ahead and finish the setup. And at the end of the setup, it says Protostax uh, Arduino Nano BLE LED peripheral service started. And so you can see that here. So next up, we'd want to go ahead go to our uh, computer and open and run the uh, Python program. You'll find that there is a file called rgbblecentral.py. Uh, so this is a Python program that will act as the uh, BLE central device. Let's uh, open it up and take a look at it. First thing that you'll notice is there are a bunch of import statements uh, from a package called bleak. So we need to make sure that we have the bleak package. You can do that by using pip3 install bleak. Um, as I've already installed bleak on my machine, uh, this, it doesn't do anything much. So you can just go ahead and start the program, RGBBLE, Python 3 RGBBLE central.py. And what this does is it goes ahead and looks for a BLE Bluetooth um, peripheral device called Arduino Nano 33 BLE Sense and it will connect to it. And in the Arduino serial monitor, you can see that it has received a connection from a central device. Uh, the Arduino Nano's uh, BLE service exposes three characteristics, one for red, green, and blue LEDs. And you can see that the central uh, device, namely our Python program, has gone ahead and read those three characteristics. And it finds that red, green, and blue LEDs are all off. The next, the program prompts for uh, user input to enter a string and you can enter an R, a G and, or a B to toggle the red, green and blue LEDs respectively. You can enter uh, any one or more of those. So let's start with toggling the red LED. You can see in the Arduino serial monitor that the LED has been turned on. I can type G to toggle the green and turn it on and B to turn on the blue and I can also enter uh, more uh, than one. I can for example say R and G. This will toggle the red and green LEDs since they are already on it's going to go ahead and turn them off and we'll be left with only the blue on. I can also do RRGB, it doesn't matter how many times you enter R, it's still just going to toggle the red ones, the green ones and the blue ones. Since our blue is on and red and green are off, this will result in red and green turning on and the blue being turned off. You can hit Control C to exit the program. And you'll see in the uh, Arduino serial monitor that the central device has disconnected. Now I can go ahead and relaunch this um, Python program and it will go ahead and reconnect to the Arduino Nano. 
and this time it's going to find that the red and green are on and the blue is off. So basically when you read the characteristics you would know what are the values uh, for the LEDs at the current time. So even though we have disconnected from the Arduino or the Arduino is still uh, running and so when we connect back to it we get the latest information. That's it. Head on over to the project page in the link below for more explanation and discussion of the code as well as links to the full source code. Once you have the framework and understand how it works, you can easily add more characteristics to your Bluetooth profile to get temperature, humidity, pressure, microphone and more. Um, and build yourself, uh, say for example, a weather station. I hope you enjoyed this project. We have more videos coming up, so go ahead and hit that subscribe button below and the bell icon to be notified when the next video becomes available. On behalf of the team at Protostax, I'm Sridhar Rajagopal. See you next time.